What's going on, G Dot family? I ain't gonna lie to you, baby. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. I just got done watching a little video about Kirk Franklin. You know what I'm saying? He, his was damn mama, lied to his ass his whole life and told him that his daddy wasn't it was daddy, but his daddy really wasn't his daddy. His daddy was a nigga that he never knew before. Now he got a paternity test, and his mama denying it, even though it's 99999999 percent accurate. I slap the shit out of you. I'm gonna. My mama my, my, don't lie to me in my goddamn face like I'm a goofy. So with that being said, what we doing today is reacting to women that got caught up. I love reacting to these cheating ass hoes. They always get caught up and try to act like they ain't do nothing. You know what you did. Stop playing with my You're playing with my intelligence. I don't like that, baby. I really don't like that shit. Stop playing with me before you get your ass smacked up out here. You feel me? So let's get straight into the video right now, man. Let's go ahead and see what the f*** going on, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, I got zero tolerance for the BS, zero tolerance for infidelity, so let's get straight into it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, WapboyG. on Twitter, WapboyG. but without further ado, man, <laughs> let's go ahead and get straight into the video, man. Let's see what these dumb, thought ass hoes got going on. Fucking answer, dude. Oh, she got caught up. You were in Mexico? Your family? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing here. What? Answer. You were with your dad? Who's this? Really? Oh, he said, who is this? That mean a nigga ain't know either. See, I think it's like 20 times worse when a nigga don't know. You been with a side dude don't know that his that the girl he's with it has a man. That makes the situation like 40 times worse. It'd be different if the nigga knew, oh, she got a boyfriend. I, I just gotta be careful. I gotta be incognito. This nigga is on a, like a suicide mission damn near, bro. You got this man out here in a park with you on some lovey-dovey cuddly shit. You out here trying to do Dino? You out here got two Dinos at the same time and you know your man crazy. You know your nigga will look for you and about you and you out here with me like he, he even if he is a hoe, a nigga loses mind when this girl out here doing Dino. What the hell am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to just sit here with your ass in the park. You got a whole nother nigga doing what you want me to do. And I'm supposed to sit out here and have a picnic with your thought ass. Get out of my face. Who is it? No one? No one. Oh, you lying. Huh? Lying ass hoe. Now she don't want to talk. Oh, nothing? You don't know me? Nah, it's nothing. I do know you. So who am I? Well, you're not any, you're, we're not together. Oh, we're not together? No, we're not. No. We're not together? <laughs> oh, Bercy, I called her. You been fucking this girl? Yeah, dude. Oh, you been fucking that? Oh, my God. You been fucking this girl? You been fucking this girl? You been fucking this girl? Huh? And she looking like that's what I'm saying. I don't know what's up with these thud ass. Bro, I'm disgusted. I'm in disgust right now that as a lady, as a woman, she can sit right there and get by two different guys, not claim the other guy. That's some nigga shit. That shit men do. Why do girls want to be men so bad? Why you want to get tossed around and get by two different guys, go on dates and do all this shit? That's not empowering. Once a nigga find out you're a slut, I don't want to talk to you anymore. You're a slut. You're a slut. I don't want to talk to no whore. The hell I look like want to talk to a hoe ass. That don't make no goddamn sense, bro. I don't know why these girls do the things they do, fuck. I'm gonna tell you some real shit. It's disgusting. It's trifling. It's disgusting. It's not sanitary. It's not cool. It's not clean. That ain't what we doing, bro. That's just not what we doing out here in these streets. And you goddamn slapping about it and shit like it's cute. Okay, it's real cute. It's like my sister's gonna slap the shit out your ass. You finna get your ass beat, wig toe up, hair ripped out, all type of shit. I ain't gonna do it because I go to jail. But I know some girls that'll whoop your ass. Dude, you been fucking up. Yo, what's going on, consulted by G.I. Family? I know you looking like, God damn, what's going on? Why, why the video stop? Look, give me a second, I'm gonna break it down for you. Right now, I know you looking at this video like, damn, I wanna get some cho-cho. I got a way for you to get some cho-cho, some real money on, you feel me? And legally, too. Go ahead and sign up for consulted by G. right now, just so you can take advantage of everything I got offered for you. And what I got offered for you is a whole lot of ways to make a whole lot of money on. I'm talking about through stock options, regular stock investing, crypto investing, starting your own dropshipping company, even if you want to start a YouTube channel, there's ways you can get paid through that faster than the regular people would and start earning more money than some people who are actually monetized on YouTube already. It's not rocket science. I just want to put you down on game and I can do that for you for 25 bucks a month. Now, I got a lot of tiers that range from $5, $25, $50, $75. I would definitely suggest signing up for the $25 membership or the $50 membership just so you can take advantage of all the information. But if you want to go above and beyond and you want to get the top of the top next level information, go for that $75 membership and get all the information that's available for me to you so you can take advantage of this time that we're in because there's a lot of internet money going around. You don't want to miss out. <laughs> Throw them keys, bro. I ain't gonna lie. She got me. I would have lost them keys across the goddamn park and told her ass go fetch like a 
Dog. That's why you treat girls like garbage. You try to give a girl the world, she gonna treat you like this, bro. Now, I ain't saying you feel me be a complete asshole, but you gotta be more of an asshole than you was a nice guy, bro. If you're more of a nice guy than you was an asshole, she's gonna take advantage of you and take you for granted. You treat her more like an asshole than you do a nice guy, she's gonna be all up in your line, she's gonna be begging for you, she's gonna be loving you. Tell me, the girls I treated like queens left me. The girls I treated like dog shit stayed. I don't know why. I promise you, I don't know why. It's weird. <laughs> all right, man, we got another. Dumb ass broad who got caught up stealing money. Now this is like the fourth, fifth video I've seen on this channel alone of girls stealing from their goddamn husband or boyfriend to do some stupid shit with the money. I I, I don't know how they do it. I would slap. I would slap the went to jail. You got me fucked up. You stole from me. Slapping that. Hey, you know that you stole money out of my account. What? That was money for my kid heart surgery. Why did you record? Boy, I would have killed. I, I can't even do all the animated shit, bro. I can't even do all the animated over the top shit. I would have killed. I would. I'm. Pr I swear to God, I don't. I don't. I'm not like. I don't really. I don't, bro. I don't condone violence against women. I promise you, I don't. I, I got a mom. I got aunties. I got people I respect in my life that are female. I got a woman in my life I respect. But let me tell you something. You steal some money from me and my kid. And he open heart surgery. And you stole the money from me. And you on here not even like on for, on some crying shit. You talking about why I got a camera in your face? I'm gonna break. Job. I'm gonna break your job. I'm gonna run your pockets. You're gonna be mad as hell and I'll rob your ass blind. You're gonna be dead broke by the time you're done with recording me right now. Like, you trying to don't worry me. about why I'm recording you. No. I'm worried about what my money is. Like, I begged you to take me to that concert. Why you, spent you take my... me to the concert? Because the concert is the least of my look, worries I don't right care now. About that. Like, my I kid heart surgery is what I'm worried about right now. Look, like, and for you to take my money out of my account I just to go to some Beyonce I concert, you done lost like, your mind. I don't care. Like, I don't care what you like, don't you, care you, about. You voice, like right now. Oh, my you money. Act, I'm raising my voice. Baby mom, she ain't got like, nothing to deal with this. Nothing to deal with this. Go find me. I ain't gonna lie. I like how he was on his ass. I like how she was on me. You know what I'm saying? I like that. He was on that ass. He wasn't going for that bullshit. I can't even, bro. This shit making me so hot right now. I'm finna take my damn hoodie off. This shit making me so hot. I can't believe a stupid ass like this even exists. You doing weirdo shit like this and this nigga at home slaving. Taking care of you. Getting you whatever you want. I said I can't take you to this concert because I gotta have money for my kids. Open heart surgery. And you out here doing this? You're a weird, thud ass, lame ass, hoe ass slut. And I hope you get what you deserve. You need to catch syphilis for all the shit that you're doing, you weird ass, lame ass slut. I swear to God, bro. I God, Jesus Almighty knew not to put no weird ass girl like that in my life, bro, because I will catch a charge. I swear to God, I will catch a DV charge and go to jail so fast. I promise you. It's nothing you're going to do. You, you you spent this money on a Beyonce tour when my kid at home hurting because he. I broke up in the face. I probably would have. I'm sorry. Probably would have. <laughs>